We're testing the Federal HST 147 grain. This is the 9mm Plus P version. I'm using the SimTest Media comparable to ballistic gel and four layers of denim. This is one of those loads that everybody would like to get their hands on, but that is not an easy task. None of my local dealers in the Nashville, Tennessee area ever have this in stock. Never have had it in stock. So I typically have to go online, which is what I did here. $30 a box for 50 rounds of premium defensive ammo. That's a pretty good deal because you can pay $25 or $30 a box for 20 rounds of defensive ammo. Now, my test gun for this is the Glock 19. That's my EDC, 4-inch barrel. I've also tested the uh, standard pressure HST, and it's coming in at 1,006 feet per second. This one is advertised at 1,050 feet per second, and guess what? Five-shot average, I actually exceeded that, 1,052 feet per second. And I'll give you some other numbers uh, in just a moment. But as you can see in that opening sequence, it is still a very manageable load to shoot. And I found it to be uh, reasonably accurate for what I was doing there. Now, let me show you something here. And I'm going to turn this off and reset this for a stationary view. We have three of the plus P's over here and three of the standard pressure over here. And I think that these on the left are just a little bit longer. OAL. Let's give you a close up. I was just a little curious, being an ammo geek. These are the three plus P, plus P designation on the brass, the three standard pressure. I've tested those previously. Bullets all appear to be the same with the exception of this one. The serrations uh, are not the same length, but the OAL, 1.122 on these, 1.128 on those. So, you know, six thousandths of an inch, not a big deal. So we're going to toss this into the SimTest Media 10 feet with the Glock 19, and I'm really curious to see, is that plus P going to give us some additional benefits? Decent shot placement, and it stayed in the block. We're starting off with the left side of the track as I was cutting. Here's the point of entry. Coming in uh, through there, you can see we already have some very deep cutting motion going on, carrying that denim forward. Starting right here, this is about two and a half inches in and running for approximately three inches. We have a very prominent stretch cavity. And then as I was cutting, I lost the tracks. So let's move down here to the right side. Again, point of entry. There's the other half of that stretch cavity that we saw a moment ago. Pretty deep cutting action going on there as that's uh, starting to expand. Continuing on, I started cutting at a different angle because I could actually feel the bullet uh, pressing on the side of the media. There it is. So it actually turned upward in this case. This is reversed. Let's see if I can get down to that. From this perspective, I cannot tell if there's any denim in that cavity, but obviously it expanded. And at that mark, that is 11 and a quarter inches. There's your maximum diameter, but the average is 0 0.700. No denim in the cavity, and I washed out the excess sim test media, but still coming in well over 147 at 148.4 grains. It is interesting to see the results when you take the same bullet style and weight and push it to a higher velocity. You're probably going to have a trade-off. On the left, that is the 147 HST standard pressure tested a couple of months ago. Same format, same test gun. A little bit less expansion on that at .664, but much greater penetration, 13 and a quarter inches. I did anticipate a little bit more expansion today out of the plus P, and we did get that. However, I did not anticipate that much of a difference in penetration. That is quite significant. So I thought this uh, was beneficial for my purposes because the standard pressure 147 HST is one of my primary carry loads. Hope it was educational for you as well, and thanks for watching.